Hello, hello, my lovely collective. Welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. I am at one of the few campsites that had availability in the state of Colorado. <laughs> so I'm kind of close to the road and it's super windy, but I just wanted to go ahead and do the read with you guys, get started. So we have the unseen, the ring, the mirror, and the mother collective I mean the the mother is the idea of like an identity that you cling to and and you're like the card is you know clinging to the identity of your children and and you know like only identifying through them and feeling very limited and limiting the people around you and then the other side of that is you know like you're comfortable with with what you've done and you release it into the world um and I kind of just get this feeling of there being this fractured idea that you were just like clinging to something that you were holding on to something and and maybe it was a residual effect right if you're dealing with something with your family or you know like a, like something big that's happening in your life and you have to get that out and you have to heal that and, and you know what I mean like people can catch you in in like a state of clinging while you are in the process of releasing um, and I just kind of feel like there is this idea of seeing beyond just these fractured ideas um, and into, I mean, the ring is the idea of never ending, never beginning. Um, you know, and, and in terms of, of an identity, sorry, let me see if I can word today. <laughs> I haven't been talking a whole lot. I've just been enjoying everything but sometimes I think that you know you are who you are who you are who you are <laughs> I was in a relationship with somebody when I was 19 and I still like absolutely love and adore this person and and talk to them on occasion you know like every 10-15 years or so but the last time we spoke we were talking about, you know, just like people that we grew up with. And he was like, you know, it's funny because I feel like all of us ended up growing up being exactly who we started out being in the first place. We just kind of took a lot of detours along the way. And that's what this feels like. Um, it feels like, you know, growing up and in the end becoming who you're meant to be either way. But, you know, just kind of like taking some detours along the way. Um <laughs> Okay, let me do some clarifiers. I'm just gonna like put the cards back in the boxes as I read them because legit do not wanna just chase down tarot cards. <laughs> so I'm trying to be very like careful with how I do this. <sighs> I hope everyone is doing well, enjoying this gorgeous weather. Oh my God, it's amazing. It's like perfect. And I like this campground. There's like people patrolling constantly, so you feel safe, you know? Because <laughs> listen, Russia can be scary sometimes. <laughs> Don't judge. Okay. The devil, the eight of pentacles, and the lovers. I don't even know. Um, and I like this like ominous cloud just rolled over. I mean, I just kind of feel like there's this idea of control and manipulation and I don't know, you know, like I, I, I do, I think people will catch us in a moment and they'll try and hold us in that moment and, and, you know, like dictate things accordingly. It's funny because I was having a, y'all, I'm just, we're just having like a sharing time right now. I hope you're okay with that. <laughs> I'm just here for the, I'm here for the beauty of this moment. Um, but people can catch you in an idea. People can catch you in an identity and they can lock you into that and try to, you know, like dictate things accordingly. Well, I'm going to treat you this way because this is who you are. And again, I just feel like anybody who's on a, like on a journey of growth and healing is never like, you're never going to find me in the same place that I was. 
But the fact that you wanted to lock me in that place and treat me so poorly is telling of so much more than just that one action in that one moment in time. Because when people tell you who, who they are the first time, believe them. Sorry, I'm like, I'm seeing all of these other cards that are flipped over. Okay, so it was the Ten of Cups, the Emperor, and the Two of Swords. Well, okay, sorry. Let me just scooch and skittles here. I feel like what's ending is this manipulation, is this idea that you can be toyed with according to some absurd identity that somebody created and concocted from partial truths and half ideas. You know what I mean? And it's just kind of like, that. like, I don't even know what to say to any of that. Other than that, I've made a decision to open myself up to what it is that is meant for me, you know, um, what it is that can meet me where I'm at. Um, and not try and drag me into some wormhole that doesn't feel anything more than just, it's like being put in a straight jacket. This is who you have to be. And this is, this is who you are. And you experience this in life. And therefore, this is who you will always be. And you know, it's just like, holy fuck. <laughs> Calm down. I don't know. I don't know if you're dealing with somebody in this energy um, you know, if you are, you know, struggling with experiencing this energy, um, take what resonates and leave the rest. Okay. Collective. The Five of Cups. Sorry, I'm just like, don't let my cards go away. The Five of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Yeah, I mean, this is just an idea of confusion and always feeling like you're missing out and always feeling like you're looking over your shoulder. In what world is that desirable to anyone? In what world is that acceptable? I mean, that just feels like emotional leeching. You know, it's just like an energetic, emotional leech and like who feels like they have the right to treat you according to an identity that they created. <laughs> I don't know. Again, it's just this like this fractured identity that I feel like you're you're letting go of. Um, because I think that there just comes a point in time where, the, where really and truly it, it does become nothing more than, than a bit of a joke, right? Um, this weird story, this weird, you know, like, this weird experience, this, you know, something that you're probably never really going to do anything with and ultimately will probably forget because there are going to be so many other things that are so much more engaging and, and, um, you know, aligned with the sincerity of who you are, um, instead of, you know, and like, why waste your time, you know, I don't know, just like reminiscing over being misunderstood. Like, like, again, that just like, doesn't make any sense to me. Um, <laughs> I don't know, maybe somebody is wanting you to like, walk down this lane of nostalgia with them. And you're like, well, I mean, I, I get it, I guess, but what about any of this is nostalgic? Um, yeah, I've got lots of things that I feel nostalgic about. I've got lots of experiences that I've had that I feel really nostalgic about. And, you know, people in my life who I'm excited to build with and, and create memories with and, and live a life with. Why would I be nostalgic over fractured ideas and... and manipulative concocted ideas and stories and and that didn't, that literally refused to acknowledge and see me as a human being because because as a human being like whatever it was was ridiculous 
Yeah. <laughs> well, because sometimes you just feel like, like you just want to like play the part. <laughs> like, oh yeah, bet. Let's let's play that part, and and see how that. See how that goes. <laughs> Feels sarcastic. I was hoping this read was going to be a lot like happier. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this read, you guys. The Queen of Swords and the Five of Wands. Yeah, again, just this idea of, of like no bullshit. There's a whole lot of lack. There's a whole lot of battling. There's a whole lot of not really understanding because you don't take the time to actually, actually understand. You take the time to concoct <laughs> in all of your cockiness, <laughs> you know, but you're not actually taking the time to understand. And that's just like irritating at best. <laughs> okay collective we'll do one last card and we'll call it a read I guess I don't know I almost feel like I want to do a follow-up read maybe I will in a little bit but let's do one last card and see what we get Underworld. What is this? What is this happening here? I'm not ending on the underworld. Absolutely not. The starborn. Okay, we got a little stack here, but I'm okay with that. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, you guys. <coughs> I'm like, I don't even care. I just need sunshine and fresh air. Maybe that'll cure my sickness. Thanatos and the underworld. I want to put these two together because, I mean, this is... Oops, sorry. Hold on. Before these fly away. Um, you know, again, just this idea of, like, holding on to these these limits this you know this idea of like this isn't anything that I can do anything with I can't grow here it's dark it's it's full of life but none of the life that's going to do any good for me you know what I mean it's just kind of like things that'll devour me not things that will will develop me um and I don't I don't need that in my life <laughs> um the creator the starborn and arrows um, I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just like in holding these boundaries, you are I don't know, turning the fates, changing the prophecy. I don't know. All right, well, collective, if this does resonate with you, um, please do give me a like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much for spending some time with me, sharing your energy with me. I hope y'all enjoy the views. Um, yeah, I'll see you again soon. Bye.